everyone. I'm in my daughter's nursery. It's being painted right now um, and reworked. And I set up a little cushion spot in here um, to kind of like work in, just have a little spot in here while there's work being done <clears throat> in our bedroom and other parts of the house. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. So I wanted to talk about like something really, like I guess I don't really get like, I did a tweet Sunday that obviously people were upset about saying like, you know, I don't really, basically I don't like to hear about politics. Um, and I said, it's probably because I'm ignorant and I, I just don't want to learn about it because it makes me like so depressed. And obviously it was taken as like, well, you're privileged. That's why it doesn't, you know, it doesn't affect you and you're, you know, your privilege is talking and your kids will suffer because of you. Something, you know, all along those lines. And I understand that. I totally understand that. I was just kind of just being honest and being like, if there's other people like me out there, like you're not alone. Because I sometimes I feel so stupid when it comes to politics. But I also feel like so helpless because then the stuff I do know, it's like, well, what are, what can be done about it? And like, there's, there's just not a lot. Obviously voting and getting educated and stuff like that, obviously I don't know that. Anyways, I know it's going to make people mad. Once again, I'm really ignorant to this stuff. I... I choose to be ignorant to it and I, you know, I understand when people say like that's a privilege too. It's just, the there's, there's something that's been so plaguing America and this is like another thing where it's like I wish, I guess I should just know politics better or know how to handle this but I feel like no one knows how to handle this because there's no solution and that is um, school shootings, mass shootings. I've always been terrified of mass shootings like since I was a kid. When I was in elementary school, Columbine was was like the biggest thing it was like 1999 or something so I was like 11 I was like in middle school I was terrified of school shootings um there seemed to be a lot of those obviously Columbine was like the first big one that got news but then right after that was like the Virginia Tech shootings and then there was all those shootings in the movie theater and later on obviously as an adult you know I remember Christina Grimmie at her show and then the next day the Pulse nightclub shootings in Orlando um, there's even been mass shootings close to where I lived, um, in LA and, and just at casual places. Sometimes they're, sometimes, or in Sandy Hook Elementary School, that was around the same time as like Columbine. Um, and it just seems to be happening in Buffalo, New York. You know, I, I see this stuff, like I said, I don't, obviously I'm not seeking it out, I'm not watching news outlets or anything but I see it on Twitter and stuff like that and I I see it all over TikTok I see you know it does kind of smack you in the face with it and it's something that just like it devastates me it truly crushes me so it's not that I don't care it's like what can be done and and it's like second to the tragedy of everyone, the people that lost their lives it's like is the fact that there's no there's no solution there's no, like, what are we doing to fix this? And there's just absolutely nothing. And I see people talk about, you know, ban all guns and, you know, the anti-gun laws and then co combat with people. People are going to find the guns, whether they're illegal or not. I'm not, again, I'm not on either side of it. I don't know. I don't know the answer. If, if it stopped mass shootings, I would say ban all guns. Yes. But like people say, like people will just find those guns and like the wrong people have the guns and the people who are on the right side of things won't have access to guns and then it's a really bad situation. So I don't know the answer to that. And that's why politics in general just, there's just, there's no win. There's no answer. And I don't understand how this can keep happening at schools and specifically schools um, the one I'm referring to now is the Texas one, the Uvalde school, I'm probably saying that wrong, Uvalde or something, um, where an 18 year old high school student opened fire at an elementary school in Texas. I'm just like, I think wounded, shot 14, I think two have died, maybe more by now. I don't know. I haven't, this is all happening now and I'm just devastated. Um, my husband sent me a text and was like, this is, our child will not go to public school. Because, like, we had debated about public school. You know, on one hand, it's like, you know, well, I just hate public school. But on one hand, it does 
help you socialize and like you know you get to do projects and team things and stuff like that and like yeah but we have always kind of leaned more on the not going to public school for a variety of reasons it was horrible for me um just bullied by students and even teachers and just you know it's just I have my own issues with public school but then the options are like okay private school which is super expensive and like we're fortunate that we could send our kids to private school but um you know a lot could change by the time that happens circumstances change and stuff like that and like right now that's what we're like saving for is like that because that's like a big thing or the other option was homeschool, which I don't even know what the expenses are in that. I do have a friend that homeschools her child and um, they're very happy with that decision. And I'm like, maybe that's the route to go because we had talked about that too, because I'm like, well, there's private school, but at the same time, and we looked at like fancy private schools, you know, it's a long ways away. I hope you guys don't know, I'm pregnant with my first daughter. So it is a ways away. So a lot, hopefully a lot can change. And this is something that like, I want to be a part of the change, whatever it is. But once again, and whenever I make these videos about anything going on in our world, there's like, what's the answer? You know, I, I did videos about what was happening in, um, in the Middle East last year with Afghanistan and refugees and all stuff like that in India. Um, sorry, I'm picking, I need to stop. Just get a little, it's really working me up. Um. I'm just picking skin off my foot it's disgusting but um you know and then there's the homeschool like I said I don't know the I don't even know how home, like that option obviously you worry about like the social the social you know interaction because obviously they have to go somewhere and meet kids like you can't just hold them in a bubble either you know obviously through classes or lessons or public you know theater or whatever it is you know sports um if they have that I don't even know after all that stuff but um I know for us this was like the final straw where we're like definitely not sending them to public school because why because we're scared they're gonna be in a mass shooting because it's such a it's such a reality and it's such a common reality like it just happens so often and i know that whole thing is like you know obviously the fear mongers like well you can't be afraid to like go outside obviously yes you live your life you we still go to movies we still do this like you live your life but the fact that there's just so many school shootings and nothing, nothing can be done about it. And that just doesn't seem right. It doesn't seem fair. It doesn't sit well with me. Like I literally just cried because I, when I saw 14 were shot and two were killed, like I, I have nieces and nephew. I have my own daughter coming. Like I just couldn't imagine like innocent children, just literally so innocent, just going to school and then they're gone. And it's so hard, you know, I'm, like I said, I'm just, I just have a baby inside me and I already feel so protective and it was so hard to just get her to this stage, right? But then you raise a child and you nurture them and you put all you have in them and want to see them grow and then they're taken away like that. I just, and I, like I said, I try not to talk about serious things because it really, it's, it, it like triggers me this whole thing. It sends me into like a paranoia, into this spiral of anxiety and depression. And I don't want you guys to feel that energy from me. You know, my one job is, you know, entertaining people, distracting people, escaping from the day-to-day -day life of this stuff, of the reality of this. I just feel... Um, once again helpless and I feel like making this video really doesn't even have a point other than like what what can I do you know I made a tweet that was ignorant and stupid and everyone came for me but never gave me a solution on like what can I do you know I voted and I feel like I voted for like the wrong person because I'm just I was so uneducated on so many things and now it's like this turmoil is happening in our country and I love our country I love America I love the United States I love California but this shit is just like so heavy. And I, again, just, I guess I'm making this because if you think I'm ignorant and stupid and not doing my part and not keeping up with Paul, like I'm asking you now, this is a, this is a hill I will die on. Like I, how do I help? How do I, how do I change? What do we change about this? Cause all the stuff I read is all conflicting. 
there's just no solution basically. I just think I, I just think they need to do away with public schools. You know? And I know that won't stop, you know, obviously, you know, people can go into a daycare that happened. They can go into, you know, a football game, whatever. I get that. But it just seems to be in these schools in particular, there's a bunch of kids in like one spot. And then definitely more security. Like there definitely needs to be more security. We had no security at my school. You could just, anyone, literally anyone could just walk in. The doors were open during school hours. Anyone could just walk in. And they just, you know, we pay so much in taxes. Everybody pays so much in taxes, specifically California. It's like, where do they, those tax dollars need to go instead of building more freeways? Needs to go to like security in schools, checking bags, people at the door, like actual security people who like tackle people, not just people who I've seen things. There was a shooting in, in downtown LA actually, and a big tourist spot. And there was a shooting and the security guard was running away. It's like, okay, well, we need to invest in people who are trained and know to like take down shooters, especially when there's kids involved or close these schools. And then all those activities we do with our kids have a, have a security guard there. Put those tax dollars to work because security guards work. I've hired security guards for events. I've hired it to go to freaking Disneyland, you know, they work because there's a body there and even if there's no attack it wards off like any possible attack there's a buffer there that people see and will be like okay maybe i won't do this doesn't stop everything doesn't fix everything but how do how do we get that change how do you get our government to change how do you like i really feel unless you're like kim kardashian status who can like pardon people from prison. She wrote a letter to the president and then she gets people out of prison. But who, what normal person can do that? What civilian can do that? I write a letter and what? Like no one sees it. No one cares. Make a video and our nothing in our political system is gonna change by me making this video. I also know our public mental health system is a joke. People who go into um, mental hospitals, 5150, where they're forced into one because they're a danger to themselves or others. What, they stay there for three days, they're fed medicine that they probably don't need because no one diagnosed them, they start giving you medicine. The day you go in there, there's no possible way someone would, could diagnose you with what's wrong with you, they just give you pills to take. There's no real class structure, you go and call her for a little bit, you talk to a doctor for like five minutes, you say, hey, you feel like unaliving yourself today? You say yes or no. Three days of that, if you say no, you're out. Three days of that, if you say yes, you stay in and get no treatment, no help. So, so these people who have these problems and do these things, but they can't get help anywhere. They're a lost cause. Our kids are dying because of it. When I think about, I don't even think about it. Just, just innocent kids, just innocent kids that haven't even started their lives. I just, it makes me so sad. Um, oh, I mean, to the point where I like can't even do anything today. I'm just like, I'm just devastated by it, but. That's just on my head today. It's on my heart. I want to change the world too. I want to change our politics. I want to change so much in this world. Better education, but also better safety in education should be a priority. Protecting children should be a priority in every atmosphere and every place that they could possibly be at. Especially when they're alone and they're vulnerable and then our mental health care system sucks. Therapy should be covered by insurance. Um, but thoughts and prayers are great. I pray for every single one of those kids and their family. And I just, I pray that heaven is real. 
and there's peace and there's a better life after this life i really want to believe that i really hope that's true and that's why angels that are too precious for this earth are taken too soon i feel i don't know there must be a reason because it just doesn't make sense and it's heartbreaking but um it's just my thoughts i don't know i would love to hear your thoughts on this And what we can do to actually to actually change this. Tell me, tell me. I'm ignorant. I'm stupid. I'm dumb. I don't get involved. I want to get involved in something like this. Like, let me know. And stay protected. Stay safe. And tell your children how much you love them. And tell everybody how much you love them. Because this life is crazy. This world is scary. And it's precious. And just appreciate every day with the ones you're with. And... Just let them know how much you appreciate them.